Okay, so here is the water pump that I removed pro from our Siemens washing machine because its propeller was blocked by this little Lego item. It's a Lego pack. Uh, I just want to show you how uh, a nice piece of engineering this motor, uh, this, this pump is. So here you have the housing. It's uh, this bigger tube is the inlet which goes from the, the drum and the smaller tube is the outlet uh, which goes to your drain. Now the front part is uh, on the front panel of your washing machine and it is a cup, it is a closing which is removable. Uh, most people use it just for draining the washing machine but uh, I didn't know I could actually remove all this thing completely out and clean it completely because there is a, like a little cage or chamber which is used uh, which is probably designed to separate uh, the fluff and other debris from uh, from your from your clothing, so it is a little rails. So when uh, putting it back to the place, you have to you have to check the rails inside the housing, and uh, then push it gently like this, and only then you can screw it inside. So this is it. When I turn it around, you could see the back of the, the separating chamber, of, or how I just call it. And uh, inside this space, there goes the propeller. So it's like this. And the propeller is attached to a permanent magnet. This is a rotor of the electromotor. And the permanent magnet is probably a ferromagnetic one because it's black and uh, as, you, as you can see here is one pole and uh, here is another pole. And uh, when inside a pump it goes to uh, the stator like this or stator sorry for my English because I'm not a native speaker so stator is a classical horseshoe design so you can see it this is the horseshoe here's a coils with windings on both sides of the horseshoe and the windings end in this connector and when you take a multimeter and uh, measure the resistance it should be around 100, 180 ohms uh, so they say this, this motor uh, there was a uh, sticker but I lost it somewhere in the process well, there used to be a sticker uh, or label and uh, it said this thing has about uh, 30 watts 30 watts uh, so uh, it's supposed to be connected to 100 and to uh, 130 volts and uh, so it should take uh, much less than one ampere. Um, so when I found the sticker, I show you. So the isolated uh, electric part from the water, they made a closure which is waterproof. 
the enclosure has one rubber o-ring which is like in this position and it goes here uh, there is a uh, quite a simple locking mechanism which you can use just by turning this thing around and then uh, the whole pump should be waterproof fog. <laughs> ah, here is the label, sorry for my ignorance. So, as you see it's it's about 200 milliamps and 30, 30 watts. Okay, uh, so when you mount the pump like this and put it in your washing machine, it's then waterproof. And uh, the magnet, which is attached, the rotor, which is attached to the propeller, is inside this little tube. And uh, the motor, no, the, the stator, should be should go like this. So you, I have to slide it. It's pretty stiff, so I cannot do do this on the, probably now. I have to use a lot of power. But by this design, they achieved a complete electric isolation of the electric part of the water pump and the part which actually propels the, propels the water which actually uh, leads the water through the washing machine so it's a pretty nice design I think uh, you could say it's standard but, but I've never repaired a washing machine so I'm seeing this for the first time and it's a pretty nice thing Okay, so now I take this thing, put it back together, put it back into the washing machine and we'll see if it works again.